All right, Simon, it's that time. Casting call. I know people, I mean, as soon as you say television, people get excited. Um, <laughs> but some people in this case might be a little annoyed because, well, not annoyed. Maybe that's the wrong word. I think the right word might be nervous mm. because you literally have to show 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 your house with the house's pants down. Because we're talking <laughs> about, you know, houses that have a little bit of a problem. And you got to, you know, you got to let people you're in. You're exposed is what you're saying. You're okay. exposed. And people are nervous about that sometimes. Well, we have great success with doing this. Uh, mm-hmm. and, and honestly, we get a lot of inquiries, which is wonderful. But we get good quality inquiries because we make sure we explain the process. Mm-hmm. So, of course, in the past, we've set up a lot of people, homeowners, you know, just people people that are interested and we've put them together with different, uh, again, casting call opportunities and it's worked. So we've got another one here and we've got a really beautiful, fantastic, talented lady. And of course, Samantha Pinn is who I'm referring to and she's got a new show and it is called Open House Overhaul, which I love the name. So Samantha, welcome to the show. Thank you. What a sweet intro. Well, you're well, so she, adorable. She's cute as a button. So no I guess that, that helps to warm people up and, <laughs> and, and sure. let her do her thing, right? Yeah. So Aww. we're thrilled that you're here. And of course, you and I have some commonality where we're both on Cottage life television right yes. so you had a great program and i'd like to think we had a really great show and i always brag and say that show turned into an actual channel which is wonderful isn't that fantastic yeah, crazy so you're busy again and now you have open house overhaul so talk to us about what is the format what's it all about well really it's about light reno and decorating okay and staging your home So we go in and it's usually houses that have been on the market for a long time, in some cases a year, in some cases a month, the house isn't moving, and the homeowners don't necessarily know why. And so we go in and we kind of assess the situation, we tell them what's happening, how they can improve, you know, whether it's staging, maybe it's a light kitchen makeover. We assess each home on a case-by-case basis. So it could be a kitchen gut, it could just be a facelift. It could be a bathroom gut. could be a bathroom facelift. Sometimes just cleaning up your house is a start. Could and be, paint is huge. Could be curb appeal. Could be price. It's, could it's be all marketing of Marketing or lack thereof. It, it really is a combination of uh, everything. It's it? like a checklist from like the ceiling to the floor of what it could potentially be. And I think that homeowners are often surprised. Sometimes they're not so surprised. Sometimes like, okay, yeah, we knew that our sofas were terrible and that that was turning buyers away when they walked through the door. And then other times people are surprised that their orange walls and their purple and polka dotted room isn't selling. Or maybe it's the black room that's not selling. "Mm -hmm." So it's really, it's staging, but yeah. there's definitely renovation Now, happening. you know what I like about this, though? There's an education component, because that's what we're all about, and it's very important. So I can see this, instead of it being the typical real estate porn, like we call it, Simon, mm-hmm. I mean, we've kind of been guilty of t- calling it that, mm-hmm. but this <laughs> is something where you, there's an education factor. By watching this, you're going to learn something. So I really like that. So let's talk to Samantha, who should apply. So we have a casting page on the realestatetalkshow.ca. You click on that link, and of course, there's different show options and opportunities. And this one, of course, is our most recent. So who should actually think of applying for this? I think if you don't think your house is looking so hot and it's not structural, right? Like it's not like your house is lopsided and we need to take a stick of dynamite and blow the entire thing up, then you should apply. Like if you're thinking like, you know, you walk into our, everyone has open concept, living, kitchen, (laughs) dining room, and people just turn away and they don't even go upstairs, then you should definitely apply. So if it's about your furniture looking dilapidated, or maybe you don't have a great floor plan, definitely apply. If it's the finishes, like maybe you've got one of those naughty pine kitchens like everyone has, we are painting. Like we're coming in (laughs) and we're painting. That's not an option then. Yeah. Oh, no, no we're painting. No, painting. Yeah. I mean, I'm guilty of painting everything, as yeah. you know, like on, on summer home. We, we, we just painted everything. And and that's often, you know, men find that really difficult. <gasps> painting wood? Oh, it's yeah. sacrilegious. It's precious. Uh, it's, you shouldn't so change precious. it. Yeah, no, I know. Crazy. <laughs> but, I don't care about that stuff. <laughs> but, but my question is, do people have to have been on the market for a while or it doesn't matter? No, you don't even have to have been at the mar- on the market at all. Like if you're thinking of listing and you're thinking like, I really want to get as much money as possible for my home. I just don't know how to do it. And I know that people are going to walk in and they're not going to feel like this is their home. Because right now it feels like my home. Definitely you should apply.